Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The cool, changeable, early autumn kind of weather that we've had so far this September looks likely to continue over the next 10 days. Certainly nothing as extreme as this. Hurricane Dorian, the wildest weather on the planet, finally moving away from the Bahamas over the next few days, but threatening the US coast for a time. Then Dorian drifts north and in fact gets picked up by our very own North Atlantic jet stream. Question on many people's lips, of course, maybe how will Dorian affect the UK? And it looks likely that into next week, Dorian will travel towards the UK, but get steered northwards towards Iceland. And by this stage, actually, it's no more than a typical area of low pressure. In fact, we removed the name. You can see it's just a, an Atlantic low by this time, complete with tightly packed isobars and weather fronts. This is next Monday, but if you compare Hurricane Dorian, or by this stage, ex-Hurricane Dorian, with, for example, the weather system that's affecting the UK through Wednesday night and into Thursday, so you can see there's hardly any difference replaying that. This is Thursday's weather system. This is next Monday's ex-hurricane. And you can see how these, uh, these hurricanes can transition quite well into just typical areas of low pressure, just like the one that's coming in for Thursday. So nothing particularly scary for the UK, despite the uh, destruction that uh, Dorian has caused elsewhere in the world. Now, Thursday's weather system brings a warm front into parts of Western Scotland and Northern Ireland to start the day. Ahead of that, sunny spells and a chilly start in places, especially for sheltered parts of Scotland. But for Scotland itself, we see the clouds gather, outbreaks of rain push in from the west, a few showers for western parts of England and Wales. But sunshine returns behind this warm front and there'll be plenty of sunny spells away from it as well. And although there'll be a cool breeze, it won't be as windy as it is on Wednesday, mid to high teens typically. Then it turns wet once more into northwest Scotland and then eventually this band of rain crosses Northern Ireland, the rest of Scotland before into the early hours of Friday, toppling into central parts of the UK. Ahead and behind it, clear spells, a few showers arriving for Friday afternoon into Scotland and Northern Ireland along with a brisk breeze. And by this stage, the weather front is across southern parts of the country fragmenting all the time. It's a cold front so it will bring cool, fresh air across many places, mid to high teens typically. And it's fragmenting as it pushes into an area of high pressure. And this high pressure is key for our weather into the weekend because it looks likely to extend, swamping this weather front, making it clear away, and then a big ridge of high pressure across the country for Saturday and indeed for Sunday. So Saturday's weather, yeah, there'll be a few showers about, there'll be areas of cloud around, there'll also be a keen breeze, especially in the east, but actually many places will be dry, there'll be plenty of bright weather about as well. Once these showers clear away later in the day, the sky is clear. Saturday night's going to be quite a chilly one actually, and some places could wake up with a touch of frost on Sunday. Temperatures by Sunday day daytime back into the mid to high teens. And then it turns cloudy again in the northwest as we end the weekend. So much of the UK dry through the weekend, a lot of fine weather, more unsettled conditions pushing into the northwest later Sunday. This cold front starts to move in and that will once again topple in around this area of high pressure for the start of next week, bringing a spell of wet weather early Monday across the northern half of the country and then outbreaks of rain for England and Wales through the day itself. Now these weather systems are moving in around an area of high pressure. Rewinding the clock to Wednesday, you can see the same high pressure essentially staying put during the next five days. And all of these weather systems are being drawn around it. They're circling it almost like a, a cartwheel type of system with uh, these low pressure systems just journeying around the top of the area of high pressure coming in from the northwest of the UK and bringing changeable cool weather conditions. And it looks likely that well into next week that kind of setup, that repeating pattern will continue. This, again, this is ex-Hurricane Dorian, but you can see it stays well clear, most likely, of the UK, passing through Iceland, bringing some wind and rain to the northwestern parts of the country, drier further south and east, where we're closer to this area of high pressure. That's the middle of next week, but 
later on things get a bit more uncertain because with that high pressure remaining in place, but also with the Atlantic tropical activity, tropical storms and so on, starting to uh, make more of an appearance over the next few days, it is possible that these systems will be drawn up around the high pressure and end up again as typical areas of low pressure and come along to affect the UK via the jet stream. What does that mean? It means that, well, essentially the weather's likely to stay cool and changeable well into next week. But getting the detail right in terms of where these low pressure systems will end up is always going to be tricky. It is likely to stay wettest in the northwest, but there'll be showery rain elsewhere. However, just like this week, there'll also be plenty of drier and brighter interludes in between these weather systems and where we get clearer nights. At this time of year, of course, it can be quite chilly. So cool, changeable, typical early autumn weather. And despite Atlantic tropical activity picking up at the moment, it doesn't look like there's anything too much to worry about for the UK weather, at least for the next week or so. Bye bye.